Okay, so with Simon after a 2-1 win against Gloucester, Simon, what are your thoughts on that match? Yeah, it was a, it was a tough game. I mean, Gloucester are battling, as we all are, for those uh, important points. And it was um, particularly tough first half and last 15 minutes, but we rose we wrote to the challenge and um, got a good reaction from the players straight after half time. And the crowd responded and they were fantastic. You know, they drove us onto that two, two goal cushion. And obviously we conceded later on, but um, defended well. And people have come into the team for the injured ones, have shown a real appetite and concentration and stuck to their jobs. And sometimes, you know, it's not going to be as fluent as we'd like, but it's about getting the points. And um, recently, you know, that's six wins and a draw out of eight, so we're pleased. How wary of the threat of Gloucester did you have to be? Because obviously they'd lost heavily 7-1 to Oxford City. I mean, did that, did that alter your game plan in any way? No, I think we're at home. A bunch of our home fans, we've just got to play our way. and um, We've had that game plan since the turn of the year, and the young lads have embraced it as well as the senior players like Paul Clayton. Dave McGurk, he's fit, obviously. Matt Bloomer came and did well for him today. Um, the legs and energy in the midfield. Obviously, Paddy McLaughlin made his debut today and fitted in, started in really easily and nicely. And um, uh, So I don't think we have to change for the opposition. I think if you have legs and work rate and hunger all over the all over the park, then hopefully the other, the opposition have to change for us. Now it's a bit of a, a strange game in this respect. The first half, not really much to shout about, but the lads came out in fine form for the second. Mm. It's going to be that way, you know. Teams are going to come here and try and stifle us and frustrate us, and then we we'll lose a bit of patience, hoping that we we'll lose a bit of patience and um, get desperate and throw uh, bodies forward and into the middle areas, and, and we didn't do that. But I said at half time, it's a bit of a miserable match at the minute. Can we grab it? Show a bit of energy and a bit of panache in those forward areas. And and I thought uh, I thought we did. I thought the front three, uh, in particular, you know, that first 15, 20 minutes after half time, drove at the opponent, the direct opponent, and beat a man. And uh, we scored two good goals. Obviously, got to mention George and Furious because those were two wonderfully well taken goals. Yeah, I mean, he, he was in the right place at the right time for the first. But the second goal, him and Jack combined from actually the corner flag and cutting in like that. Superb finish from Jordan. He, um, he was quite quiet first half, but he's going to get games like that. Those types of players um, are going to attract attention from big defenders. But um, what I like about his attitude and Jack's is that they might not have the biggest frame, but they've got some of the biggest hearts around and uh, they'll, not be, they'll not be stopped. Now, we're away against Hyde for the next match, and as you already said, you know, at home, teams have got to come and change their game plan to suit us. Is it different for us away? You know, I mean, obviously, Hyde's scrapping at the bottom, needing all the points they can get. They're obviously going to be up for every single match that's coming. You know, again, how does that change your game plan? Well, again, we just have to make sure that the work ethic is there. Um, and if we do that, then we don't have to change people around and give them different responsibilities. We're kind of trying to groove their roles and responsibilities um, in the last 10 weeks and, and hopefully we'll get better and better but if we keep swapping and changing we don't want to fall into that trap and, and fear the opposition so much that we always have to have continual change. It'll be a tough game at Hyde, um, Gary Lowe's gone there, they were already bottom of the table and um, have been a, you know, a real problem in, in, in terms of staying up, getting the, so many points. Um, from the start that they had, but I do know they're playing very, very good football. I don't know how they've gone on today, but I know Mark Bauer was saying that it's a tricky game for them, back-to-back -back games against them. Um, we've had a watch today, so hopefully we'll have a bit of information from that. But we'll just go there and, and have a go. You know, it'd be, a, it'd be a good game, I'm sure. And one final thing, you can tell how strong the camaraderie in the team is because, I mean, just off camera, we've just seen Andy Gascon obviously on his crutches give Jordan Fury is probably one of the biggest cuddles he's had in his life. Yeah, we're going to stop that, haven't we? That could not No, I think. Um, there is a great spirit amongst the lads, and a lot joined together, didn't they? You know, around the Christmas mark, and and um, they've really stamped their authority. And Gaza was, you know, outstanding for us, and uh, great lad off the pitch as well. His dad came today and had a meal uh, before the game, which was good to see. And um, th we definitely want to get him fit, and so we can join in with the rest of the lads. That's great. Thank you very much, Simon.